In this video, I'll show you how to create an awesome text animation using Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. Download, and open the Illustrator file. I have separated each letter, so it will easier when creating the animation. Select all layers, and export it into After Effects. Here, I'm using a plugin called Overload to export layers. If you do not have that plugin, simply drag and drop the Illustrator file into After Effects. I will lock the background layer. So it will easier to manage layers. Select all layers, and change their color. I will change it to green color so it will be easier to identify each layer. These are my composition settings, you can adjust to the same setting if you have a different one. Let's create stroke lines on top of each letter. So, pick the pen tool and create stroke lines like this. The stroke line needs to cover the bottom layer. So adjust the stroke size, equal to that layer. I have set the stroke size to 16 pixels. Do the same thing to all the letters. Make sure to create a new stroke line for each letter. Here I will pass the O letter. Because we can duplicate the previous O letter stroke line, we have to make two stroke lines to cover the T letter. So simply make two stroke lines like this. Again, make three separate stroke lines for the H letter as well. Okay. Select all the stroke lines we created, and reduce their opacity. I will reduce it up to 60%, so it will be easier to correct misalignments with the bottom layer. Now select each stroke line, then correct the alignment by using the pen tool like this. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the Oletta stroke line and place it on the next one. OK. Now I have fixed the alignment issues. Again, select all stroke lines and change their opacity back to 100%. Select S letter stroke line, and add a trim path. Move the timeline to around 1 second and add a keyframe to the end parameter. Again, move the timeline a little bit backward, and set the end value to zero. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Again select it, and open the speed graph. Change the speed graph to a shape like this. Let's play the animation. The animation looks good. Select both keyframes, and press Ctrl plus C to copy them. Then paste it on other layers by pressing Ctrl plus V. OK. Let's check the animation again. I will adjust the timing a little bit. Maybe one keyframe forward. OK. Now the animation looks good. Again, select all stroke lines. And move each layer about three frames forward like this. T letter has two stroke lines. So make sure to move both those layers about three frames forward. Do the same thing to the H letter as well. OK. Let's check the animation again. The animation looks good. By messing with the keyframes, adjust both T and H letters properly. I will cut this layer from here by pressing Alt plus left bracket keys. Do the same thing, to the H letter as well. OK. Now we have almost finished the hard part. Let's move each stroke line to the top of each letter. Make sure to place the blue layer, top of the green color layer. The T letter has two layers. So select both the layers, right click and pre-compose them. Do the same thing to the H letter as well.
Select all green color layers. And change the track mat to alpha mat. Let's check the animation again. Okay. Now select all the layers and pre compose them. Press Ctrl plus D and duplicate this layer. Drag and move two frames forward. Again, make a duplicate and move two frames forward. Go to Effect and Presets and search for Fill. Add fill to both bottom layers. Select the middle layer and change its fill color equal to the background color. I will change the bottom layer fill color to a light purple color. Let's check the animation. The animation is perfect. Again select these three layers and parent to a null layer. Here, I'm using a plugin called Motion V2. If you do not have that plugin, simply create a new null object and parent it manually. Select the null layer and press S to open the scale parameter. Then add two keyframes like this. The first value is 120, and the other one is 100. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Adjust the speed graph to a shape like this. Ok. Now we have a zoom out effect as well. I will move those keyframes, and correct the timing. Check the final animation, and now we are done. Thank you.